Heather here. We are back. Yeah, wow. We just did an unboxing a couple days ago and we're back. And we got a big unboxing from Big Bad Toy Store. Click the link for so much more. And so much more. So much more. And <laughs> my spidey sense is tingling. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. Well, you guys know what it is because the title reveals. And yeah, we're so excited for this one because uh, obviously we love Hot Toys. We love Spider-Man. So Spider-Man Hot Toys is just very exciting. And um, this is one that should have got months ago, but because of COVID, you know, Sideshow gets the uh, Hot Toys later than they usually do. Usually they get it a month after Hong Kong releases them. Oh, but then because of COVID, everything getting from uh, anywhere from China, especially, you know, takes a while. So yeah, this, even Shardimus got this a while back, but he got his directly from China and Ooh. pretty uh, shipped pretty fast. So, you know, they have to go through customs and make sure, you know, the whole deal and stuff. And yes, you guys, just like our last video, we're 33, almost 34 weeks pregnant. We actually just came out of the nursery, which a bunch of our friends and family have sent us such amazing gifts. And I want to reiterate, we really appreciate and love that everyone, family and friends have gotten us everything from bassinets and strollers, uh, blankets and bottles and onesies and, and diapers. Cloth diapers. Yeah, we're so definitely, beautiful. definitely doing the cloth diapers on our baby boy and definitely good for the environment. If you have a baby right now or planning to please try to do cloth diapers it's so much better for the environment it's better for your actual baby too mm -hmm. we've done our research and found out that most diapers even those who claim to be plant-based and organic are actually filled with chemicals that yeah. and that diaper rash is actually caused by disposable diapers yeah and it's rare for cloth diapered babies to get diaper rash and stuff so yeah yeah. Definitely. So cloth diapers is definitely the way to go. You know, changing diapers is messy regardless if it's cloth or disposable, but definitely way better for your baby and the yeah, environment. Yeah, if your baby is breastfed, their um, bowel movements are actually water soluble, so you mm -hmm. can just throw them in the washer. Oh, yes. And then when they start being on more solid foods, you just mm -hmm. shake it into the toilet and put it in the washing machine. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's not that much of an upkeep. Oh, yeah. I know. And you're, you're saving, um, I think I read uh, like up to like $50,000 mm -hmm. on diapers. Yeah, it's it's really the way to go. It, it's one of those things you should definitely, uh, if you're a parent or plan to be a parent, definitely go the cloth diaper out, especially with our environment. We're in a little bit, not as bad as it usually gets, but especially for uh, the Bay Area, we're a little bit uh, heat. That's why if you hear our fan, and I, it's funny, I'm wearing my Spider-Man uh, hoodie, not because it's cold, but because it's Spider-Man. But yeah, definitely, I couldn't like, find this Spider-Man. Yeah, final note on the diaper thing, yeah. too. 70% of most landfills are filled with diapers. Yeah, that's why I was... And um, did you know that it takes over 100 years for a diaper to actually um, biodegrade? Yeah. Which means that the very first disposable diaper ever used is still rotting in a landfill somewhere because so they haven't even been around that long. Mm -hmm. They haven't even been around that long and like that many are taking up landfills. It's, it's a serious issue. Definitely, definitely. I know. I, Anyways. I def <laughs> no, yeah, and that's why because with it, uh, we definitely have gotten in a heat of rising in California, especially, especially and climate change and stuff. It's very real. That's why we bring it up because it it's only getting worse and we have to do something now. Sorry, we're not trying to make a unboxing of a spider-man figure into like a preaching climate change but really spider-man's a hero and he would tell you climate change is real i don't if spider-man was real he'd be swinging in new york and be like spider-man is real we met we met him at adventures campus remember yeah, that's right they have photo we have video evidence mm -hmm. like we need a we need to put our vlogs up because yeah. Avengers Campus yeah. is so amazing. I'll try to work on it tonight and get up this weekend for I sure. I can even help. We yeah. can take turns editing it. You can just, you know, tell me exactly what you what you want. Yeah. And I'm good at editing videos too. It's more of a, the editing part doesn't take long. It's just I need to get all the footage off of my phone and onto my computer. I could do it. Well, the, here's the thing. If you guys know this, so I film 
all my video, all my videos I've been filming through and also my live show through my iPhone. And it's been amazing. It's made things so much oh, yeah. easier. And we, some of the, a lot of the footage was actually filmed on my phone, which is mm -hmm. the 12 Pro yeah. Max. Oh yeah, and I got and the 11 4K Pro. 4K Dolby Digital HD. Mm -hmm. And I'm really proud of the footage that yeah. I took, especially at Avengers Campus. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, and people tell me, if you guys know this, too, if you watch any of my live shows, I used to film my live shows on my iMac webcam, the, the camera that's in the monitor. And it was good for the time. I got my computer back in 2014. My iMac, you know, is over six years old now. It's crazy. Um, that's still a good, that's still, it's still a good great. year, though. It's very, yeah, because I, 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 I spec'd it out. I got it higher RAM and... Um, yeah, so it, it was even better for the time it came out, and it's still running great. I, I haven't felt the need to upgrade my iMac, but the camera, if you watch all my videos until I switch over to filming on my iPhone, it's definitely the quality, even people were telling me, oh, it's it wasn't like grainy or anything, but it definitely wasn't as high-end as this one. When you watch, when I watch uh, videos of our live shows afterwards, it's like, oh man, it's so nice, like especially when we're doing close-ups of figures and stuff it's like I could never do that on my iMac camera because the focus wasn't as great so if I brought something it would kind of be out of focus but with this one it's in focus and it's like very nice you know so it it so shows you how far we've got, gone you guys filming on, on my phone camera is better quality than filming on my like two thousand dollar <laughs> like desktop uh, computer it's so funny but um yeah, so before we get into the unboxing, just uh, thanks again for everyone that sent out uh, baby uh, list gifts. Our baby registry uh, is online. It's on babylist.com. I think it's in the description, but you don't have to say anything. But if you want to, it's there. But also have Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Sean X Long. I'm going to start. So if you want uh, photos of me, like without the spark. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I feel bad uh, that Patreon is that, but just like. If you guys know this, it's really true. I'm glad that Patreon still, like in the toy community, like Shardimus and Toy Galaxy and Jobby the Hung and, you know, Theo Adams and, um, Patreon is still what it's meant for. It's supposed to support artists and creators and it's not just for that world. I, I just don't want to get it because I don't want to get into the whole YouTube thing, especially get us in trouble, demonetized. But yeah, definitely, I I, re I respect anyone for whatever they want to do, but yeah, Patreon is just for to keep the channel going. It's really not our source of income. It's really, but the reason why we're not focused on videos is because I have to work another job that pays the bills and make sure we're supporting our baby and stuff, which my other job is doing great, so it's not that bad. But yeah, if you guys ever want us to get to a point where we're doing this full time, you know, besides YouTube giving us more income, revenue it it's all through patreon so that's why you know chartermus and Javi and all them we really need your guys' support I feel, I feel bad it's gone to that point but yeah that we we have to go in front if you ever want this hobby to be a full-time gig it that's the way it's gonna do otherwise it's just gonna be a hobby and chewy's barking outside chewy you don't want to go outside it's hot buddy chewy come back he's, he's barking at the cats on the porch you oh, know okay. how he is yeah Anyway, so a little logistics aside, let's get to the unboxing. Very exciting. But I just want to say thanks to everyone that has supported me on Patreon and <gasps> over the years. Chewy. Chewy. Now, hey, I Chewy. want to thank Big Bad Toy Store because <clears throat> they've been a long time sponsor of the channel. They've saved me thousands right of thousands of dollars <sighs> on action figures. So if you want to check out BigBadToyStore.com, link in the description. You can pre-order all this stuff here. 3 zero. got Silver Hogs. Yeah, Star Wars Black Series. It's a lot of good stuff. Okay. You need to stop being mean to Luna. They actually double boxes. Oh, right. And I'm back. No problem. <sighs> you don't have channel members? Channel members? I know that on the live show, like the last one we did with the Suicide Squad figures, um, a fan gave uh, $20. I know you guys can do that too, which 
does help out a lot. So it's up to you guys. Like I said, we are really appreciative more about the baby registry right now than Patreon supporters. Helping with the baby means a lot. My whole thing is that it's just the thing with being real on YouTube. I would love to do this as a full-time job again, but it, I have to get paid enough to make sure I can support my family. <laughs> Can't do it on a... Uh, on only like less than two hundred dollars a month, which is only what I make on YouTube, so it's sad. But I, I haven't made. I know people that have more subscribers than you that make less than that too. It really depends. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean, like. Yeah, it's really true. There's people on YouTube that have millions of subscribers and they only make not that much more than I do. So it's like, yeah, it's. It's really about getting sponsors. It's the sponsorship to you guys, and, um, Squarespace, School, Skillshare, out. yeah. It's all Patreon and sponsorships. That's why I was watching Nostalgia Critic last night. And, and things have gone so bad where they don't just do one, but two sponsors in a video. It's like, literally, his commercial break is like two commercials like on a TV show. It's, it's the sad. way that he does the commercials, it's though, hilarious. hilarious. So I don't I, mind I it. I love the Nostalgia Critic. Yeah. And here we got Spider-Man. 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 He's an upgraded suit. Yes, yeah, so it's the upgraded suit. Yes, this figure has been on the wall. I know Justin's collectibles, the Eamon Charmus, I reviewed it, but you're not coming here for the newest reviews. I hope not, because it just, it's hard to do that, you guys. It's like, that's the thing, and I talked about it before. It's like, I wish the toy reviewing community, by the way, show this off real quick. Here, you can take a look at why I say this little quick thing. Oh, ooh, I like the box. One thing, um, and I talked to Heather about this, I, and I want you guys to know this too. Once we get everything situated with the baby and I can come up with a schedule again for my videos, I feel like there's only two ways to go in the toy reviewing world. You either are entertaining, like Jobby the Hong and Theo Adams and Chardemus, um, or you have to pretty much buy things like overseas that are stolen or whatever to get them first, to review them first, or no person where you can review them first so it's either you have to be like en really entertaining or really or the first and See, it, i think that like what i've noticed is that oh, the, it's lately the, the your videos that get more views are really about your personal stuff yes like us Family talking about stuff, you yeah. know uh, when we announced our pregnancy and stuff yeah. I think that your fans care more about you than they do the toys. Yeah, exactly. And this channel can just be about you. Yeah, you can do vlogs, it's my name. You can, we can do our lives with the unboxings. And yeah. You can do some skits with your toys. Yep. Because I have a lot of ideas. I oh, we, play we both do. Toys. I know, yes. It's... Yeah, we both love but it. After the baby's born and settled in, his channel will get more entertaining, is what yeah. we're saying. Yeah. It's, oh, it, oh my god, I love this box. I know. It I went, get, like, the windows all fogged and stuff. I love it. <laughs> well, it's, if you notice, it's Mysterio's head. Oh my god. Yeah. It's Mysterio's breath. I didn't even catch that. Yeah. Oh it's my so gosh, cool. I love that. I know, I love it. By the way, I am playing to get the Hot Toys Mysterio, and um, it just got released overseas. It looks freaking amazing. I actually, um, yeah, I'm so excited for that. I love Mysterio, and I love Jake John Hall, so when he played Mysterio, I loved that about Far From Home. Love it so much. So here, actually, let's show off the box, because Hot Toys is always worthy to show the box. So this is what we're talking about. That's Mysterio's head as um, the the box sleeve. A nice picture of Spider-Man, we'll show that. It just says Spider-Man. Oop, I forgot the orientation's locked when you do that. It says, um, you know, just MMS. What's it, what number is that? Five. So, wow, 542 Hot Toys. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the number it. So I show that. And it's a Spider-Man upgraded suit. And then all the amazing people that made it. Or you want to choke on Spider-Man because you'll be upgraded to Jeff. If you... <laughs> uh, I know, it's just... It's fun I can't wait to like, do our review on the spider box. They're still in the package. Oh, I know. Mine. Oh, yeah. Her, like our spider bot is open over there, but and chill on our messy yeah. table. Oh yeah, we've been getting lots of gifts and stuff. So yeah, there's just baby stuff. And we've been working on the nursery, so it's like <laughs> it, it's our, considering like all the stuff we've been doing. The place isn't terrible. It's just like I definitely have spots where like I need to work on, and yeah. But the nursery, 
I, I literally took a toy collection office room and turned it into a nursery. That was no small feat. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, here, take off the box sleeve. Look how cool that is, you guys. Whoa. Look at, ooh, the spider drone and everything. Yep, there's the upgraded suit. Here, uh, kind of flip the, yeah, do that. Ooh, the spider symbol, nice. And then on the back here, ooh, it's like Mysterio's like little digital thing and all. Howard Chan, JC Hong, uh, who made it. Not uh, uh, not uh, related to Jobby the Hong, but it'd be awesome if he was. Man, can you make, if Jobby's like, well, it, yeah, that's Chinese versus like, you know, Thai, so yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I I totally uh, give shout out to Jobby because like, oh man, that's so cool. Oh yeah, that's the continuation of the front. I love it. And there's the figure, you guys, looking so cool. When he comes with a spider drone, I forgot about that. That's awesome. Ooh, and the spider wings. That's awesome. The web wings. Ah, okay, guys, let's get to opening up because now I'm like even more excited. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to give you things while I open it up. So let's do it, you guys. Always so much fun. But yeah, what I was saying before, you don't want to care about being the first anymore. So if you come to the channel to see things before everyone else, there's plenty of other people that do that that really spend a lot of money doing that or have like they have other jobs that can really let them do that but going down that path is just it's just not fun for me you would have to continue to sell your collection in order to do that yep exactly whoa so much stuff oh which, my god which there are some things that you should probably just <laughs> yeah whoa look at all that uh. oh my god so this is the web wings and extra hands we'll get to that in a second Oh, here, put the the box leave on here before we put that back in. My God, so much stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, you guys, it's been cool. Oh, man. Ooh, and he comes with, yeah, he comes with a Peter Parker head and either glasses and which I know from uh, Justin's collectibles review, you can put it on oh, the, really? the Mysterio's head. Oh my God. So, you, so many things you have to, so much accessories. This retails for $200. It's in stock right now, Big Bad Toy Store. It's not sold out. So if you want this, go and link it in the description. You can get this right now. Ooh, he comes with a cell phone too. I forgot about that. Oh, seriously? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay, let's take a look at this. By the way, no one should be collecting Hot Toys if they're not amazing. This is just like, ah, oh, it doesn't look like him at all. And it's like, well, nothing will please you. Nothing will make you happy. So why bother? It's got a text <laughs> message to Mary Jane on it. Oh. It says, on my way, 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. And she was like, don't text and swing. Oh, yeah. That's cute. Ooh. It's like a... Pim's test kitchen, right? They have the um the, the giant cell phone and occasionally text messages from Peter Parker come across it. Mm -hmm. Usually about what's happening with the with the bots, the spider oh, yes. bots. It's and hilarious. Like, Don't tell Mr. Stark. <laughs> I know, I, I thought that was hilarious. That's cute. Man, Avengers Campus was like I didn't want to leave. Between that and Galaxy's Edge, we just... My my legs and feet were so swollen, but I didn't want to leave. I, I just I stayed until the park closed. Whew. So there's Spider-Man. If you need... If you can do it very carefully, if you need to do that to uh, take off. I, I say this in every Hot Toys unboxing. It's so annoying. I know why they do it. Protecting the hands of people. That, that's what... I, I put plastic on the hands and feet of my dolls when I ship them. Especially if I do sculpted nails on them. Ooh. Tom so Holland head. It. Very nice. I'll show that more in detail. Oh man, amazing sculpt. Looks just I met Tom Holland 
uh, back in 2016 at the Civil War premiere after party. He is such a cool dude. I got a picture with him. Um, and he's become my favorite Spider-Man. Such a cool kid. See, he was 20 in 2016, so he's like 25, 26 now, so yeah. Oh man, we got the spider drone. Or not the spider drone. It's just uh, the drone that Mysterio used. Ooh. I forget because we have the fan blazing. On so. Yeah, I, I posted about Snake Eyes um, on my channel and everything. I didn't do a video review because I, I don't do video reviews about movies anymore because, man, um, I talked about this before too. When I used to do movie reviews, I had so many people hate on me if I liked a movie, like that might be Superman or Last Jedi or something like that. And yeah, it's, I wish that liking a movie, I, I, more people get on me for liking a movie or a show versus like being, like if I voted for Joe, Joe Biden and support gay marriage yeah, or people, yeah. um, you know, it's like, movies are are more important than like politics to them yeah. or something and they yep. want to debate you and yep. sometimes people walk into a movie Oop. theater wanting to hate it so yep. they if you have if you set the expectation that's what's going to happen because like for me it's like i think that's silly because um movies and media are for entertainment yeah it's for downtime it's not a actual pastime and a lot of creative and talented individuals it takes a lot of money and effort and talent and yeah. creativity to create a movie yeah and um i agree it's no movie is perfect even the movies we love they're definitely no, like yeah the curious case of benjamin button this is a perfect movie yeah and it's like <laughs> but yeah it's like Oh, wow. I know, he's super articulated, of course. His suit's really nice. Yeah, the upgraded suit. So... He's even got some fiber in his... I think I got everything, yeah. I just, okay. Oops, let me take out this. Yeah, I think it's so weird when people are like, well, I'm a diehard fan, so I hated it. And I'm a diehard Justin Bieber fan. Like... I'm not gonna hate on his every album. Like anything he comes out with, I'll love it. Yeah, Justin Bieber is amazing. I love Justin Bieber too. She's actually made me appreciate Justin Bieber more. There was definitely songs of yours I liked. I know, I wa we watched this uh, video by the punk rock NBA Finn McKinley right be uh, earlier today, and talked about most hated artists out there like Metallica, Skrillex, and Justin Bieber. And Justin Bieber really has turned himself around. There was a point where he was like a douchebag, uh, kid, cocky kid, he was but a now, child. yeah, and he now he's like super wholesome, super like like honorable he's, man. He's a raw and real person, and he, he shares and owns up to his past mistakes, and he blossomed. Yeah, very young. Not and many I, people outgrow that type of douchebaggery mm -hmm. that young. I know. And he, he makes amazing music. I, I listen to Justin Bieber daily, uh, just like I listen to Halsey or um, Olivia Rodrigo or... Uh, like, I know, right? So this is my Spider-Man, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, well, all, all think, of the Spider-Man. No, you have a whole... You have a bunch of Spider-Mans. This one's mine. As long as... It's with you as long as you're with me. Sounds good. Well, when we get married, you're, you're stuck with me because I don't believe in divorce. I know. Same here. <laughs> okay, let me take this off real quick. I'm glad. It's nice having two people do these things because there's so much stuff to cover, and it's like while I'm trying to take out one thing and fix it, she's like showing the other, and we can talk about this. So we're going to show off all these accessories here. Oh, one thing that's cool too, you can clip on the drone. Ooh. Okay, the drone has a little thing over here. Oh, this is awesome, man. Oh, man, he's so freaking articulated, man. When I was at, when we were at Avengers Campus and we were looking up watching Spider-Man do his stunts, I actually cried. Oh. Made me all 
teary-eyed and Yeah, and you got the little drone right here. I'm playing with them, I can't help it. That drone is so cool. Here, I'll hold this real quick. I'm gonna see, I think, did it come with another stamp for the drone? I feel say like Say what? No, I, this looks like it clips on, what is that? It looks like it clips on to here. Oh wait, let me double check. I thought there was one more thing. I don't know, that's what it looks oh, like. Oh yeah, I forgot the issue. Wrist pegs. Because this little piece comes off. I feel like I got everything. Let me just make sure sometimes. Yeah, let me just double check. That's why you always read the instructions, folks. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. Oh yeah, and then you, it, it's articulated so you can put it out like however you want. I think you did it right. Let oh, me. Oh, snap. Yeah. That's dope. I know. Well, I mean, the box. Look like and I'll a put this in here. Kind of mid air Spider Man. And yeah, we got, we'll go through all the accessories after we show off the That's figure. my favorite thing to do is to pose them. It's so much fun. Oh, yeah. All the webbing and stuff so you can have them like web swinging and whatnot. Give me the box, I'll put this you know, in. I want to pose all your toys. Nice. Can you hand me um, the box real quick? Okay, so we're put this away. So much fun, you guys. I want to get the Night Monkey suit and I want to get the homemade suit. I got. Because I have Iron Spider, I have, I have, um, the, of course, the red and blue costume, or the advanced suit, or I think the Stark suit. I forgot what they called it, the advanced suit or the Stark suit. This is the upgraded suit. And, um, and then, of course, I have all the Spider-Man video game figures. Not all of them. I don't have Negative Suit or the Mark IV or Spidey Armor. I w I'd love to get all of them, but, you know, priorities and, you know. We had like life size Grogu, and we had, <laughs> you know, just the thing about hot toys, they can be very expensive. And I do have sponsors that have helped out a lot. This was like completely free for me with just my store credit. Thank God. I saved it up too. So, some if you guys notice, I don't get hot toys that often. That's like, even if they do get released quite a bit. Is that because I save it up or sometimes I have to, I get partially because my store credit is used up, I pay for it, but it's still saving quite a bit of money, even if I'm saving like a hundred dollars or whatever. Okay, let's um, show it off here and also I'll read some comments here. Yeah, oh, I guess like, I've, been, I've been playing with him. He's, I love how articulated the Spider-Man toys are. Awesome. MCU Disneyland suit Spider-Man. Oh, well that's just the regular Spider-Man suit. That's not a, a special suit. They're asking if like make a Disneyland suit, but the Disneyland suit is a suit. Uh, this is the suit that he was wearing in at Adventures Campus. Yeah. This looks exactly like the Spider-Man at Adventures Campus. Yeah. And they hired one of the greatest acrobats ever to portray Spider-Man. He he's phenomenal it, it literally i felt like a child i can only imagine how i would feel as a child seeing what i saw because I as that. an adult it brought tears to my eyes i literally did and like i had tears running down my face and i was like it's just from looking up at the sun <laughs> no red blue red black and blue are my favorite colors so i always love spider-man because those heater is all in red and blue or red and black what do you prefer, uh, red and blue or red and black? I like the red and black suit. I really yeah. love it. And there's Chewie over there. Oh, look how cute that is. Look at Chewie. Oh, I love how I can zoom in. <laughs> can you, um, do you mind like putting his legs out so I can show it off? Or, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's like kind of. I can't chilling. help it. I want to play with him. Oh yeah, you can pose him uh, like as much as you want afterwards. We're gonna show off the articulation too, so you can do that. And there's the drone right there. It's so cool. We can and put it on there. And this like rotates on this. Yeah. And it's, it's also like really articulated so you can kind mm -hmm. of put it oh, in yeah. any position that you want. 
Yeah, you can have it like chasing him. Yeah, you can rotate that because it's like pointing away. <laughs> Yeah, the suit is really nice, and I know the they reveal Hot Toys revealed a black and gold suit. It looks like Spider Man's gonna use some magic, and well, if he's gonna be interdimensional, then yeah. Anyone that watched Loki, we know what's coming up. Loki was awesome, by the way, that finale. Oh, show the back. I love that spider symbol in the back too. Very nice. Love the texturing, the suit, the boots. I really love the MCU Spider-Man. Here, let me um, show off the posability and then we'll show off. So, I will say from what I know and um, what I'm pretty much expecting, you know, having the, the advanced suit, this is probably like the same articulation, same body, but not so let's let's test it out the head can look up really good so you can do that nice deep uh, like sky dive or like falling pose so really great head articulation Shardimus is on here whoa Shardimus by the way we hope to see you at the baby shower dude you you and Charlita man I was been talking about you how you reviewed this months ago because you couldn't wait to get it from like Big Bad Toy Store or Sideshow and stuff. So, <laughs> ooh, I know, love the ratchet joints. Yeah, so, yeah, I love the head articulation on this guy. Nice, like, whoop. This is like how Chewie looks at us when it's like, is it time to go to the park? <laughs> or do you have ice cream? Yes. Oh, man. Is that ice cream ice cream? Oh, nice. They'll be there. Yay. Thank you so much. Are these magnetic? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my mind. I know. Oh yeah, see. I want, oh God, I want to play with him so bad. I know. Heather w wasn't with me when I got the uh, the advanced suit, so she doesn't know all these features yet. But I I, I know what to expect. So. Yeah, Spider Man's one of my favorite. Ever. Ratchet joints, love it. Yeah, I just love the articulation on this guy. Yeah, go up really high. Down has a butterfly joint, and now ratchety. Take the bicep. And two points at the elbow, rotate the wrist, go in and out. Love the suit. Is Man. this for like him to hold when he's in the yeah. Peter Parker? Yep. Oh, That's and I have awesome. the Peter Parker head. Yeah, Ooh. you didn't even show it to me. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. I know, right? Oh, then he has a nice ab crunch forward and back. You do the bullet time. <laughs> and then rotate left and right. Very nice, of course. He's in a real costume, so 100 legs can go forward that much. So, want to do the full <laughs> like do the splits. Oh boy, I know you can do some crazy poses. Shardimus has shown some amazing poses with this guy, of course. It's in the cloth, and good thing about I, the... I can't wait to pose him because good... that's my favorite thing. Good thing about these costumes. You know, they're real costumes, or they're, you know, real costumes for 1-6 scale figures. They, the material is good where even though it does get wrinkled, if you keep it in a pose for a long time, it'll go back after a while. So they're really good about being durable and stuff. Rotate the other part of the leg, two points at the knee. <laughs> and then his ankles fully rotate, pivot forward and back, and has a nice ankle pivot, pivot, pivot. <laughs> side to side. Oh, and he does have toe articulation too. Can't forget that because that's Shardimus's. Forget the ankle pivot. Shardimus loves the toe articulation the best. <laughs> but yeah, ankle pivot's really nice. <laughs> pivot! <laughs> pivot! Oh man, any 90s kid will know. I have pivot no thing. idea what you're talking about. Oh, that's from Friends. Pivot! Um. Pivot! So when they're like, trying to get the couch. Did, did children actually watch that show? Because yeah. I didn't. Like I, didn't, I, did. I didn't care to watch shows about a bunch of 30-year-olds when I was like freaking 10. Well, well, when your parents watch it, then you watch it. And then it's like, oh, okay, cool. And uh, my, my mom looked like Monica. If my Monica. dad was watching TV and I wasn't into what he was watching, I would literally go into my bedroom and mm -hmm. play with my Barbies. Yes. One thing I'll or, say. Like, read books. Yeah. Oh, I, I was totally a Ross. Yes. We've all been there where we're trying to pivot our couch. 
and trying to get things through. I moving into here, I had to deal with that too. Pivot, pivot. <laughs> I have no was, idea. No. I mean, I'm, I'm, now that I'm in my thirties, it'll probably like be yeah. a good show to watch now. Well, it's, it's on. But um, when I was younger, I don't know. Yeah, it's on HBO Max, and I love that Friends special. It was so His great. His cell phone even has a crack on the screen. Oh yeah. I know this. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah. Well, here. Um, I really, 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 really here. want to play with the magnetic oculus. Oh yeah. Oh boy. So. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Let's. She does. Okay. Let me show off these features here. Too bad they don't have the um, instant kill eyes. They had the instant kill eyes from the uh, homecoming suit. I love that so much. I one thing I just love. That they did the whole magnetic lens or magnetic the uh, expanding lenses i think that was just such a cool idea so we're going to show oops sorry the accessories here so the way you do this so yeah you got the open eyes little squinty eyes closed eyes half open eyes yeah so and then this is like the mid size so i like the really open eyes i like my spidey with the biggest wide open eyes which ones do you want to do? You can mix and match, too. I'm going to. That's my plan. So the way you, you just kind of use your nail and, like, take it out. Okay, so I need... Okay, okay. Just, like, it, it pops out pretty easily. Not too easy because it's a magnet, but, yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. Is that awesome, you guys? I mean, if you know Charmis's review or my review of the... Uh, homecoming one i was so many home names it's like far from home no way home homecoming i always think when i anyone especially me and Charmis are music fans anytime spider-man homecoming i think i'm coming home i'm coming home <laughs> and then i think of the remotes out hey ho, let's go i love the in spider-man um homecoming when his eyes are all <laughs> glitching and he like scares the kids and stuff i know i have my spider punk with a nice winking oh man look. i love it i love it so much here's what i'll say you guys and that's why i love shardamus and 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 other, and like people like jobby and thu and um if if you're buying these things and and reviewing them and you're not like oh my god this is amazing you're geeking out why are you buy them you can spend your money on anything food you can buy new clothes or a car or things that actually make you happy toys are supposed to make you happy you guys if you're buying these things and not like amazed by them or you're just kind of like nick picking every little thing no toy is perfect no person is perfect oh, so man, this is awesome it looks so cool oh, i love man, those I love eyes it. i love it i love the big eyes this oh. is yeah, the big eyes are my Dude, favorite. this is freaking awesome. Yeah. I didn't know they came with freaking insert yeah. oculars. Diapers, yes. This is freaking awesome. Exactly. Awesome. By the way, we have had some friends send us clock diapers. We we got about two dozen, and of course we're going to need more, but yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you don't love these things or are excited, like, we geek out, like, I got my Castle Grey School and like my Turtles and my Transformers. I can't wait for my Masterpiece Star Scream to replace my old one. Uh, man, just like things that get me so excited. And like with my hot toys, like we use that life size Grogu. We put them in our, our stroller and our bassinet. My favorite types of toys are the ones that are extremely, extremely poseable and mm -hmm. come with lots of accessories. Yep, and that's what like, hot I toys. love. I, I'm one of those people that loves the accessories. Mm hmm. I know you just put them away, but I would want them out because I would play with them all the time. Well, I keep a lot of accessories out because I do change all my displays from time to time when I have time. Oh my time. God. I'd, I'd waste so much time doing it all the time. That's why I love having my Transformers out here in the living room because I literally will take... Charmis, when you come over, we can like take Transformers and we could just have fun transforming. I, I watched the first episode of Kingdom, which anyone that knows the Transformers War for Cybertron... Cool animation, the voice acting, eh. The voice, it's the, the voices aren't that bad, but the voice acting, the director of the series, yeah. I'm going to get a bigger place so I can build dioramas for these. Mm-hmm. Because that would be so much fun. Oh, did you want to put on the Peterhead? Then we can put on the Edith glasses. Look at that Peterhead, by the oh way, you guys. God. Oh, here. Oh, yeah, just very awesome. easy to take off the nice ball joint and everything. 
That Sup is a really nice ball joint. Yeah, Tom. Doll artist, I can, I'm just saying this, if I do say so myself. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That is amazing, man. Oh my God, I love it. Anyone that says that those don't look like Tom Holland, it's like... People what? have said that? Oh, I... I I, I don't know if it's on this sculpt, but there's definitely been a lot of Hot Toys collectors that say like, oh, that doesn't look like him. And it's like, really? It's like, I like to see you do better. It's like, uh, these these are hand sculpted by an artist. Yep. And as a sculptor myself, do you know how difficult it is to sculpt a yeah. miniature? Yeah, Shardman says make custom easier, figures. It's he much knows. easier to sculpt a to scale bust than yep. it is to sculpt a miniature. Oh yeah, definitely. I can easily, I can sculpt a newborn baby that's life size. Aww. A whole head in an hour, but it takes me days to do a miniature infant. Oh, I know. That looks amazing, guys. I love the Edith glasses. Sorry, I love that your girls are like growing up and yeah, hopefully I not too this. fast. And that uh, she was saying that, um, going to play soccer with Emma. She's so big, so athletic. Love you guys. I can't wait to see you next Saturday already. Jeez. I know. We'll, we'll definitely have fun playing with toys. And we got Filipino and Armenian food, so stay tuned for that. I was going to I was gonna throw in some Syrian stuff, too. Oh, yeah. My mom was asking Just about, like, straight, what's up. Straight up Middle Eastern is coming from me. Nice. Oh, and then you can have them. We'll switch out the hands, but he has a little mask. You can't like actually put this on, but it's just meant to be like. It's meant to be like held, kind of like crumpled in his hand. This one, it, the head sculpt is so nice. Or I kind of like one, like I want one Spider-Man with a um, mask, and I want one like that's like just the Peter Parker head. It's amazing, but you can always switch it out. I love this. I do love the big eyes, man. It's so cool. Hey, what's up? Stop her. And we got so many hands, man. Oh, look at how he's standing on my bump. <laughs> look at his feet positioning. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> I did not do that on purpose. I know, right? <laughs> Aww. Oop. I, I, what is that? Oh, no, that I was just I had, like. I thought I had a moth or something land on me. I was about to scoop it up and put it outside. He comes with extra like wrist how pegs. You can even see his collarbone underneath his um, oh, yeah. suit. That's freaking. That's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, it comes with the instructions, comes with just all the different spider webs for swinging and shooting. Yeah, it comes with the spider. This is pretty standard with Spider-Man figures, whether the Spider-Man video game or um, Spider-Man movie figures now. Yeah, the cell phone, let me show off that cell phone like you were saying earlier. You can see it right on that focus. Yeah, you can see like from MJ, it has a crack in it really nice i remember um the spider-man video game one i think and scarlet spider had one yeah so not the first time we got a cell phone of course it's not an iphone it kind of looks like iphone but it's a sony movie so of course it would be a sony phone that's the thing yeah here let me get out the hands We're, i'm gonna take out the hands real quick and then we'll switch back to more details hold on Um, we can show off the spider wings. That's the coolest thing. That's another thing I would probably display them with these spider wings. They're big too. Oh my gosh. So yeah, he has the web shooters. His web shooters aren't on. That's the thing too. I forgot to put on the web shooters. They come out. That way you can attach it. I mean, they're in there, but the new web shooters kind of like have it where you can... They, they, they protrude out when he needs them. So, man, what, wow, where do we even start? And we'll show off all the... Okay, let me show you guys all the stuff and we can switch out hands. So he has the, I always, this is the whipping, uh, web shooting hands or the rock on I love you hands I always do that I always did that as a kid that same way with the I love you 
And then he has like whip crawling grubby hands. He has whip crawling hands. And then he has whip swinging holding hands or this one I think you can use to also hold the cell phone if you wanted to. Things the same. Oh, he does come. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 10, 11. So he has 11 hands because he does. He doesn't have for both. I would love it if he had two peace hands. He has like a peace sign. I used to collect Godzilla stuff, but I sadly sold that stuff because Godzilla is cool, but the figures take up so much space. They're freaking tails, man. Yeah, and they're really rough. They're, I wouldn't want my boy to play with the monster art figures because they really hurt. The, the texturing or the plastic is just really hard so yeah which hands do you want to put them on so these have them hold or and then these are the web wings which i'll show here in a sec mm -hmm. and the little spidey web too i love these uh, the webs i'd imagine this is the one that you can make him hold his mask with yeah or like you have him hold his cell phone too oh wait where is the cell phone Are these extra joints or are these for the wings? Oh no, that's for his wrists in case they break them. That's why I, I was. That's why I was wondering if mm -hmm. there's like extra joints or what. Yeah. Ooh, let's see here. Is this phone? Oh yeah, his phone's in there. Okay, I just make sure. I think I want him to flip. I think I want him to be flipping a peace sign like Alanis Morissette. Yeah. <laughs> I got one hand in my pocket, and the other is on my abs, <laughs> on my stomach. And then on this side, then I'm going to do an open hand. Then I'll show off the web wings. Do you want him to have the Peter head, or you want him back as Spider-Man? shooters that's so cool that's where you insert the web one thing i like about these trays it's good to keep these too unless you put them in a baggie i always put my accessories in a baggie and sometimes i'll keep them in the trays just because i like how they're all organized it's like uh i oh, come nice. in peace <laughs> <laughs> i like that <laughs> i know right i could do this all day i know you can kind of, well, yeah, what's the best, like, cell phone honing hand? That one over there. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah. There you go. I know, I wish that the only problem with some of these hands, you want to, like, what if you want them to have a peace sign and also hold his phone, why is it all on the left hand? That's like, awesome. Well, let's see, the, let's see, because I, I think you probably could have him hold the phone in this if he's holding it kind of, you know, like, like a this. selfie, yeah. Like, that yeah or i wonder yeah that's the best one you know that's the thing i wish they had like on both sides or and what would be cool is if the cell phone was magnetic and just could just sit there yeah it's like i feel like you would want him to do a selfie with a peace sign you know yeah it, like hold it up like this and mm -hmm. be like yeah, exactly. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, but it's sad that they made it where the left hand, that that's when I think is for holding the phone. And but yeah, you can't do them. But what you can do is you can have them hold up the phone on this side and do a selfie with the left hand. Oh yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying. Like yeah, with the yeah, like the rock on. That's what I would do. Okay, do you want to? Um, do you want him with the Peter head or the spider head? Yeah, let's try it with the spider. Switch it out, because then we're going to put the web wings on. Use off his glasses. Mm-hmm. I'll put his glasses back in. You got Edith glasses, man. Or so. can't believe he gave these away to Mysterio. Spoiler alert, but he didn't know he was, like, evil. 
or is going to use them. But it's, that's why I like... Yeah, because that's freaking Jake Gyllenhaal. A... I know. I met Jake Gyllenhaal and Tom Holland, so they're both great guys. You can also position his hand like this. Oh, I love that. There you go. <laughs> that's so Spider-Man. <laughs> I know, right? That is awesome. See, that is cool, man. That... <laughs> yeah. Posing them is my favorite thing. I just... Mm -hmm. This is so much fun. I know, right? Posing action figures. Speaking of which, now here. Um, this is why I don't collect Barbies, because why would I collect Barbies when we got these? <laughs> so now, these are way cooler. So, yeah, exactly. Um, so, well, way more expensive to you. Well, some Barbies can be expensive there, too. I've but. seen some Barbies that, you know, go for thousands. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to show off the web parachute. So the way it works, it's... We have one that goes in between his legs and then underneath above his arms. So get him in like a parachute position, like his arms out, like he's trying to glide. And then we're going to, it's magnet. So once you do it, we're going to do a teamwork here. I'm holding the camera slash phone. Oh, you can even spread out more than like that. See? Very nice. Nice ratchet joints. I love the ratchet joints. And then spread out his legs a little bit. Yeah, perfect. He's kind of like doing like, yeah. So we're going to put, let's see. Um, wait, is it this way? Which sign is it? Um, find the magnet. I know that these are, yeah. I think. The magnets are right here. So... It looks like. Yeah, so that should be the right. So we just kind of have to curve it with his body. Yeah, I guess put his arms down a little bit. I don't think there's any... Wait. Should I look at the instructions? Yeah, it's a mixture of getting the legs. Like, he, it works with him. They wouldn't design it to not work with it, but yeah. so cool that's another thing too it's like uh, yeah the um the blue the advanced suit the blue and red suit has that same feature but it was just for the the web wings so this one has it for underneath so you can do like a full web glider and this goes underneath his legs yeah it's very old school Spider-Man where you used to always have those web wings and you put these underneath his legs. Yeah, there you go. How cool is that? There you go. Oh, man. See, look how cool that is, you guys. It just takes posing a little bit, right? Yeah, this is something that you'd have to put him on his stand and really mess with them to like mm -hmm. have it perfect because it's not like perfect right now but i see you, where all the magnets line up and have his head so you can kind of like glide it oh how cool is that <laughs> i love it here now you can hold him oh, that is awesome so much fun you guys see here's the thing if you name your company hot toys we're gonna play with it like toys i don't care if these are like 200 up to like 400 or more dollars <laughs> they're they're toys man i've seen women who've paid thousands of dollars for baby dolls like play with them every day and bathe them mm -hmm. and shit so like <laughs> oh pardon my language oh it's all right it's like a pg-13 <laughs> movie we can say the s word from time to time <laughs> So much fun. Now that's another one where like I just oh oh no oh no oh crap what happened there oh no some coffee went into my amp I better wipe that real quick. Hey, you should probably wipe that up real quick. Yeah, hold on, you guys. How did that happen? Is that the fan? I don't know. His, his crotch wing fell off. <laughs> yeah, just play.
Man. That's like what makes me want to play with like all of your hot toys now. Like mm -hmm. I want to I want to to put the Tom Holland head on them and and pose them in Tony Stark's arms and take pictures of it and post it on Instagram and be like, I don't want to die, Mr. Stark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play with them. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Either you entertain the crown. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to entertain everybody. Oh, no, you want me to sing you a song? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'll get some. It's like nice details in there too. Like you all up in it. That's a lot of fun. He spilled coffee in his amp. hard to hold them with this in place. I feel like I'm going to like keep knocking them off. So I'm going to take them out now. But that's really fun. Let me just clean half of the hair again. Luckily not a lot of coffee. I see <clears throat> it went on the ground. I, feel like. I love this. <clears throat> I love that pose. <laughs> so freaking awesome. Well, definitely back here, it's not like Pia just uh, coffee that film. Smell like coffee than the dog or cat to me. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's really pretty dry. Well, I'm, I'm getting kicked in my ribs right now. Aww. He's up in my ribs now. And he likes to just tuck his butt like right here and then kick in my ribs. It's pretty, <clears throat> it can be pretty intense. <clears throat> Getting off on me. I just love this uh, drone. Here. <laughs> I love him so much. By now, right? You want to you wanna pose him a little bit? Well, I just want to here. Hold on, let me. A drone is so cool. I know we're we're having so much fun playing with this. <clears throat> it would be nice if this was clear, but maybe because it's the bendy, and they couldn't do a clear bendy one, so I, I, I get it. Here, let's. Ooh. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that ride. Jeez. There you go. Oh, man, my hair. Okay, here. Just show that real quick, that drone. Look how cool that is. I remember, like, in the Spider-Man cartoons, I always had little drones or little robots flying, and now that's, like, more of a real thing than ever. We, we play with drones as toys, and, yeah. So the future is catching up with us, you guys. Oh, and look, that's the nice... Spider-Man Far From Home stand, even though it has New York in there, Spider-Man Upgraded Suit. But yeah, this was, retails for $250, tons of accessories, the Peter Parker head, the web parachute glider uh, attachments, the drone. Do um, you think that's a great value for what it is? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite aspects of, of the figure? Me? Yeah, I'm talking to you now. Um, <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm obsessed with the fact that he's got interchangeable oculars. Oh yeah. And I love, I like his hands, and um, I like, I like to pose them. That's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. 
yeah, I got a Spider-Man MCU movie space for him. So we'll put him in there and you can pose them up and change it out. It's in, so I, we talked about this before, but our nursery in Heather's school, because she loves hot toys, we actually, um, one wall of the nursery is all my hot toys in there that aren't out here. So a lot of the Marvel stuff, like Iron Man, like Avengers. Yeah, we'll is give here. you guys a nursery tour when it's finished. Yeah. But yeah, we... It's all Star Wars themed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, here, let's... Since uh, the figure, I love it. It's just like the uh, upgraded or the uh, advanced suit. I mean, it's really a preference. If you like Spider-Man in red and black versus red and blue, me, I, <laughs> it's hard because when I think of Spider-Man, I think more of the red and blue costume. So I prefer that, but I would want a Hot Toy Symbiote. Symbia Scream. Oh, well, it screams in like a current uh, Venom movie or something. Yeah. But um, I think if you missed out on the red and blue one, definitely pick this up. It's amazing. He's probably going to wear this costume in the next Spider Man movie anyway. Uh, even though he'll probably have other costumes too, which they kind of shown online. Um, yeah, I, I, for 250 bucks, it's. Yeah, of course, it's expensive, but compared to other toys like Marvel Legends or, you know, SH Figure Arts or whatever, but gr amazing posability, like the top-notch sculpting work, you know, no company, unless you're doing a bust statue, can challenge Hot Toys on their sculpt work, so, and the accessories and the fun factor is through the roof, so, yeah, just... Look at all and these being a sculptor here. for Hot Toys would be a dream job for me. I know. Or even just painting them. And there's so much cool stuff with the eyes. Man, I just love it so much. He put his Edith glasses back. His... Wait, where's the... Oh, oh there it is. <sighs> But yeah, you guys, any questions for us? Well, well, I say this figure is amazing. You don't have to go far from home to to love this. <laughs> to love this uh, Spider-Man figure. Totally recommended. I give a thumbs up. How about you? I love it. I mm -hmm. love Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. So much fun to pose. So many accessories. We can't even like use all the accessories. That's how much is do I have um oh I think I feel like there was one more thing okay well yeah put the web wings back here it's probably over here so much stuff you guys it's like I'm like where is this where is this I'm like losing track of where everything is yeah that's why I like these little plastic trays that keeps everything safe so you're not like worried about breaking it so I recommend keeping the stuff in the plastic trays if you can. If not, put them in a, a baggie for safety or whatever. I'm putting hands in places that the other hands weren't supposed to go, so that's why When it's I was in. little, with all my Barbie accessories, my dad bought me a, a jewelry box to put them all in. You know those jewelry boxes mm -hmm. that have all the drawers in them? And um, also, like, the ring insert areas, I would just use them. Those are really great to put accessories in, and they, they store a lot of accessories. Oh, yeah. So there's always that. What's cool about jewelry boxes is you can always, like, custom paint them to suit your, your hot toys, and they can also be used as a prop in your photographs because they look like armoires. Yeah, this Peter head's amazing. Yeah, just oh, it's right there. Okay, got everything. Everything's accounted for. Whew. Okay, you guys. Here, let me go back. Go back. Any questions? You can really go over some nachos and cheese. Oh my gosh! Been following you since first school. Thank you, Pierre Paul. Are you anticipating the next Spider-Man movie? Am I like... That's like saying, are you anticipating your baby? Yeah, of course. 
Heck yeah. After all the fun we had with Spider-Man at Avengers Campus, I'm like really excited. Yeah, it's actually one of those things where it's like, okay, I know we have a baby uh, by that time in December, but I'm like, we have to watch this movie. <laughs> and that time he'll be like, you know, around three months old too, and I'll, I won't have anxiety if somebody watches him so we can go see a movie. Yeah, I might... Well, I have like my sometimes, mom. Sometimes, sometimes you can you can take infants into a movie theater. It's not. Yeah. It just depends on what's going on with COVID and stuff. If I'll be comfortable for that. Yeah, I know. You just strap them to you, and um, they start fussing. You shove a boob in their mouth. By the way, on that regard, <laughs> please, if you haven't get vaccinated, if you're too young to get vaccinated, get vaccinated when once it's eligible for you. But if you're 16 and over, please get vaccinated. Do you want to be able to go to concerts and conventions, see movies, and not without worrying about getting well, for me, it's, people? Yeah. It's not just about getting to do things that you enjoy. Do you, if you don't want to die a very slow and horrific death, mm -hmm. because people that I love have from COVID, um, get vaccinated. Yeah. If you don't want somebody that you love that's immunocompromised to die a very slow and horrific death, get vaccinated yeah because some immunocompromised people can't be vaccinated because it will trigger another illness so not just with the covid vaccine but with like most okay. vaccines they can't be vaccinated yeah exactly and it's really those types of people that we need to protect i just recently lost a friend a couple days ago uh he got covid when it first happened before there was a vaccine and it, he had lasting health effects from it. And he, it, it caused him to develop heart disease. And so a few months after he recovered from COVID, he actually had a stroke and was, you know, that was a few months ago and he passed away a couple days ago. I know, it's so sad. So he died from a stroke as a result of having had COVID and, um, it's not, you know, usually people who get it, they don't just recover and that's that. They usually have health issues afterwards. And um, someone that I love very, very much was in the hospital for five or six months, fighting for her life before she passed away. And I don't want to get too much into it. Maybe we can make another video about it, talking about it sometime. But yeah. what she went through was horrific. Yeah, it's it's definitely no joke, you guys. Just and it's it's more than just something that affects your lungs. It affected every organ of her body. Mm -hmm. She had to be on respirators, breathing tubes, IVs. It got to where all of her veins were blown, and she had to have her head shaved, and they had to put IVs in her skull. It's 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 horrific, and I don't I don't want anybody else that I love going through that. Yeah. Please, like, if you're able to get vaccinated, uh, tell your friends and family who haven't gotten vaccinated to do it. If you want the world, our country, to get back to normal and to not to be able to do the things we love without worrying about death and long-term illness, then please get vaccinated. Or until you're able to get vaccinated, wear a mask when you're out in public. You know, just do your part to make sure that it's we we beat this because this is something that doesn't matter if you're Republican or Democrat, black or white, old or young. It it affects everyone, everyone. It whether it, you don't feel Absolutely. it. Absolutely, my my friend who passed away <clears throat> was um, young, relatively healthy woman. Uh, in her middle mid thirties, left behind a husband and two boys. Mm -hmm. And a whole community of people that love her very much. Yeah. Yeah, it, um... And she very publicly documented everything that she went through. Her and her husband made videos, posts, pictures. They did... They described everything. So if anybody's on the fence and they want to know what COVID does to you, private message me and I'll send you a link to her page so you can yeah. go look. Yeah, it's... It's no joke, you guys. We... We just want everyone to be safe, like... It's not about politics. This is literally about... It's not a political issue. Yeah. For sure. Vaccines have been around for a long time. You, everyone, unless your parents 
forced you not to get them has been vaccinated for many, 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 many things. And vaccinations have proven for so long, they've saved lives, they prevent long-term uh, symptoms of, of these viruses. They, science helps us and we're, science is always updating of course, nothing is perfect with the vaccine. It's not a vaccine that doesn't prevent everyone everywhere from getting a virus or illness, but it does help you from like dying from it, from getting long-term effects. It gives you the antibodies so your body can beat it. So please, please, for the love of God or any, whatever, whoever you believe in, and Please also, get if vaccinated. you're nervous, nervous about the side effects, like a fever or whatever, it's so short. Get your flu shot first. My mm -hmm. doctor had me get my flu shot first, mm -hmm. and then when I got the Pfizer vaccinations, I had absolutely not one single side effect whatsoever. Yeah, and none. Even though I didn't get a flu shot uh, this year, my side effects were so temporary and so minor i got the chills for only like an hour or two and that was like hours later it wasn't right away and that's normal with any yeah. vaccine like when an infant first mm -hmm. gets their shots mm -hmm. they they have like a fever and chills yeah. and this that shows it's working and... it shows it's so working that's just normal yeah it's because your body needs to like have th these vaccines in them so it, it's 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 pretty much like the equivalent of going to the gym for the first time and how when you go to the gym and work out for the first time you're so sore afterwards but then once you keep going to the gym you're training yourself to be stronger and faster and that's what a vaccine is it's like training your body in an ongoing gym and that initial shot is just going to the gym for the first time but the just because you get sore from the first time you go to the gym doesn't mean you should stop going to the gym because your body becomes stronger and adapts to, you know, weightlifting or cardio and stuff. So yeah, that's a, a best way to describe it. So don't be afraid about getting a fever or chills or getting tired or sore. That's very temporary, even for the people that have uh, in I the didn't have a single side effect and I was very pregnant yeah. when I had it done. In worst case, it lasts just for a few days, best case, you don't get any side effects because you got a flu shot or something so yeah so don't be scared about it because what covid can do to you is way scarier than what a vaccine could and do I've, to you i've witnessed what covid can do to you yeah there are people that i absolutely love i've lost a lot of people that i care about because of covid yeah like quite quite a few yeah covid and it's to where um i just I'm angry about it now yeah. and I just think that being skeptical is just ignorant yeah no political party uh, or belief should tell it you it shouldn't be about politics yeah. and that just tells you where what where the agenda of society as a whole is they're trying to pin everything against each other and make it into a political issue because they want our country they want um the citizens to be divided yeah and we shouldn't be no we we all want the same thing we all want to live our lives and be happy enjoy going to the movies or disneyland or concerts without worrying about dying from I a want virus to be able to, like go to my meetups and stuff mm -hmm. and there's gonna be people that i'll never see again mm -hmm. i know and that's what i'm saying it's like not getting vaccinated like well affects so many people in so many different ways like if it doesn't affect yourself it affects your family members because you gave the virus to a family member or friend when you even if you're totally okay and you covid doesn't do anything to you you can easily it, the delta variant is so transmissible that it will easily like just like i don't think people understand how severe the delta variant is because my friend mm -hmm. Kristen, who passed away, um, that was in the hospital for a long time, she got both variants, and the Delta variant, it attacks all of your organs, your brain swells, yeah. your, um, you start building fluids in your intestines, and so you have to get medically 
um, they have you have to get medically induced diarrhea several times a day, oh, or else you'll fill up with fluids so bad that it will cause your organs to start shutting down, and then that will do something called necrosis inside your body, which means um, your organs will actually start to die and decompose while you're still alive. Yeah. And so that's what happened to her. She rotted from the inside out. Oh, man. I know, guys. It's I'm not no trying joke. to scare people, but I told Sean after she passed away that if I have to tell people her story to get them to change their mind, I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah, so please, you guys, I want everyone that's watching this or will watch this in the future, please, if you're able to, because... One way you're not able to because it's not eligible to get vaccinated uh, or at least wear a mask when you're out until and be safe yeah, be yeah. cautious of you know who you're around yeah and where you go yeah with the delta variant if you're not vaccinated it's way scarier than it was even it's before it was out it's horrific it's so easily like uh contagious way more contagious and way more deadly than the original COVID variant. And that's, that's how it, it, the history has shown us. It's like there's new viruses, new disease, and we always have to adapt to them. We're, people were vaccinated, we're safe against COVID. The Delta variant, we're pretty safe, but it does- Spider-Man says, don't you know, Thanos yourselves. Yeah. Get vaccinated. <laughs> yes, and thank you so for, for yeah. I, I, uh, my job, um, even though I'm vaccinated, I wear my mask and I, I make sure if I'm at a place that I I don't feel like safe, I wear a mask, even if we're, us, we've been vaccinated for uh, months now. And I, I just want to be safe. And I'm glad that our baby's going to get antibodies for COVID, but we want to make sure we get him vaccinated for everything to make sure he's protected, you know? So, yeah, don't want to get too much on, on this, but if you haven't heard from our president or Dr. Fauci or celebrities and now us, please get vaccinated, wear a mask, be careful out there. We want everything, we want life to get back to normal without people dying. So please just get vaccinated, wear a mask. I can't say that enough. <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man wants <laughs> peace and he wants- He wants peace on earth. Mm -hmm. You keep uh, pointing that away. How come? That's it like... keep, no, because it keeps rotating. Oh. There you go. Oh, That's so cool. Oh, with the black, it looks like it's not even there. Okay, guys. So, any other questions before we wrap this up? We're probably going to see Jungle Cruise tonight, so... Yeah, we still got time, too. Oh, we'll probably have to see the 9 o'clock, because... We, we have to rush out, and we'll have dinner. Oh, thank you, Ivan. Say so he loves his video, our videos. Oh, wow, the Wolverine Claws villain. Man, that was 2009, dang. That's how long I've been doing this. Sorry, you're like seeing my finger because I'm scrolling through the comments. So yeah, any other questions, you guys, I'm before- I'm gonna my feet are, holy crap. Yeah, pregnancy, man, you guys. For us men out there, we're very lucky. <laughs> You don't have to deal with all the pregnancy syndromes. Just dealing with taking care of our lady. Oh yeah, we still got the ice well, it's When you are um, expecting, when men are expecting a baby and they are very attentive to their spouses, it's mm -hmm. actually proven that you start to develop hormones mm -hmm. that can actually make you have pregnancy symptoms. Aww. As well as anxieties about childbirth and all of that stuff too. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, any other questions, you guys? <laughs> um, well, until we get some questions, just, oh wait, okay, thank you for sharing your time. Stay safe and be healthy. Oh, thank you. You too. Just want to give a big shout out again to BigBadToyStore.com. It's backwards right here, but, you know, link in the description. They, but over the years, have gotten so many hot toys, transformers, and, like, so many amazing figures from them. So, link is in the description. This figure, the upgraded suit uh, from Spider-Man Far From Home is 
available right now for 250 great price for everything you get tons of accessories amazing articulation amazing sculpt love the tom holland head i just yeah it's just like i met tom holland in person and this looks just like him man <laughs> such a cool dude can't wait to see him in spider-man uh no way home and uh yeah make sure follow heather on the social medias Fall on Angels Nursery on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, I TikTok. I need to be more active on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm glad, glad we got two unboxing videos this week, you guys. Between the McFarlane Suicide Squad figures and yeah, we still love the King Shark figure. So excited. We could have watched Suicide Squad today, but it, it's actually playing right now in San Francisco. Or not right now, but in an hour. But we would have had to line up there earlier. Uh, it's it's one of those first come first serve. If I wasn't like very pregnant, I'd be down. Yeah, me, me too. Like if, my feet are swollen today. I woke up, my hands are swollen, my feet are swollen. Yeah, it's not fun to take a pregnant woman that's like you know thirty, almost thirty four weeks pregnant, to wait in line or standing in line for hours, and then watch a, a movie for another two hours. We'll hope to watch an hour, and we have to drive. We would have to drive an hour, probably an hour and a half with traffic, find parking, wait in line for hours, like at least a couple hours, in hopes to get in there. And then, yeah, so it's like just to see a movie becomes like a half of a day. And it, it shouldn't be like that. It's like you, you want to enjoy your movies, but time is so precious and we're about to give all of our time to our child that's about to be born so I, <laughs> I i couldn't even think about spending all that time just waiting in line for a movie when this movie we could watch on hbo max next week if we want to we want to watch it in theaters but just to watch the movie a week early it's just too much at this point to do all that just to watch a movie early that we could watch on yeah. HBO Max or see in theaters. I, with... I want to see it in theaters though because I want them to have Me their too. theater numbers. Yeah. No, I want. We're we. I'm we've... so excited for King a, Shark. A, a live action theatrical debut mm -hmm. of King Shark. It's yes, like, Sylvester Stallone. I, I love. I just can't wait. Yeah, we're so excited for the movie. We want the movie to do great. We want this movie to be big. We, we we just hope that I hope that they they do man I hope they they keep the character around because mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a huge King Shark fan and I love John Constantine and they actually have a romantic relationship in the comics I would love to see that in live action that'd be amazing you know, Reeves, I, oh my god good. that would fr oh my god no not Keanu Reeves I know Matt. I know Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? To me, Matt Ryan is John oh, yes. Constantine. I know, I love him. He's but so I, much I better. I did like Keanu Reeves' as Constantine. Mm. A know. lot of people thought it was weird, but that's because it's supposed to take place after the uh, Constantine Dark series, which yeah. is why he had a black tie and dark hair and stuff. Oh, yeah. So. Exactly. So. Well, um, <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, um, what was going to say? Just, yeah. Well, well, maybe we'll do like a little. Uh, a live show talking about the movie and talking uh, spoilers and stuff. Like I that. would, I would actually. That's that's a movie I would totally wouldn't mind to make a video with you to yeah. discuss how I feel about it. Because mm -hmm. yeah. we'll I've been waiting King for Shark. King Shark for a long time since I was a little girl. Yeah, so we'll do a video next week about that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we can do it like on Friday next Friday. Yeah, so we'll do it next Friday. We'll do a spoiler video because that's the thing. Like when talking about movies. It's 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 hard to really okay. There's like two things, but movies, you do one thing where it's like, do you recommend the movie without spoiling it, or do you talk about a movie? There, there's like, uh, doing a movie review without spoilers, you can't really talk much about a movie. You just really can say like, great action, great visuals, it was entertaining or it wasn't entertaining or like the cast. You can only be very vague, but when. When movies you want to talk about scenes or how it made you feel and that looks cool or I wish they didn't do that and you know that or kind of like thing. The, the the direction they went with one character or were you disappointed when this character got killed, you know that kind of stuff. I know, so I definitely um, I feel like when a movie like Suicide Squad, I wouldn't want to review it unless I can talk spoilers. 
Yeah, I, I I also really really love Pete Davidson, so yes. I'm really really excited. This is his his first big film, yeah, to be in, and uh, I want to. That's why another reason why I want to go to the theaters is to you know support my favorite people. Yeah, I I feel like um, there a bunch of sites. Well, it's hard because a lot of those sites would have seen the movie already, because a lot of uh, outlets have seen the movie. I'm pretty sure they're gonna do like a Deadpool, like a betting pool of what characters live or die. And they're gonna do like odds, like odds like one to two or odds one to I, I'm 100. pretty sure King Shark is going to live. I hope he, so. He is, he's literally a demigod. Yeah. And he's very, very, very difficult to kill. Yeah. Even like in, in the DC universe, not many of our characters are actually demigods besides yeah. like King Shark and Wonder Woman. Yeah. Um, even Aquaman's not a demigod. Yeah. Exactly. I I feel like the characters I hope live are at least King Shark, Harley, Peacemaker, maybe a uh, Bloodsport, and I want Ca uh, Captain Boomerang and uh, uh, Dick Hurts, uh, which is Pete Davidson's character of uh, was it Black? Hard, or I think that was Blackheart is his character. It's real. They're really obscure characters that we don't really care about. But I want him to live, but I feel like he won't. I just. Who, Pete Davidson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love Pete. I know. He's I, freaking adorable, and the, the character that he looks like looks like he's not very bright. So we might. Yeah. He might survive. <laughs> he might not live. Yeah. I, I feel like a lot of the characters, I feel like more characters, it's not going to be who's going to die, I feel like who's going to live. That's how I feel about this movie versus the first Suicide Squad movie. Because it's like, they're not going to kill Will Smith. They're not going to kill Harley Quinn in their first movie. They're not going to kill... Like, there was only... I don't think they're going to kill Harley Quinn either because no. they're, they're, she's such a beloved character and there's so yeah. many... Jam sto stories to do with her still. James Gunn would, like, get so much hate. Like, I feel like... You can get away with killing most of the characters. So hopefully not King Shark, but most he, of the characters. He better not with King Shark. King Shark is literally like virtually indestructible. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's the thing. Like King Shark, like uh, because like even when he killed Groot in the first Guardians movie, he didn't. He came back. So I hope that King Shark, like, yeah. Dude, if you cut off his limbs, they grow back. Yeah. If you try to blow him up, his he's got a he's he's got like a Mm -hmm. protective barrier like he he's close to being indestructible yeah exactly so hopefully he as long as he and harley and hopefully like a few other i characters. can't wait to see him go into rage mode yeah. it's gonna be awesome oh yeah in I'm excited. Action. oh yeah i feel man we got so many amazing movies like really uh after i mean jungle cruise is gonna be a fun time but really suicide squad next week is one of my big movies and then spider-man we got eternals and uh, Shang Chi, and then I'm really, uh, really, really, really looking forward to Shang Chi. Yeah, and we got uh, yeah, especially Asian representation. God love that, and and Aquafina is amazing. Love and her. Some some Mandarin representation too. Oh, yeah. Some real Mandarin. Real Mandarin, and um, yeah, we got uh, Abomination Returns from the Hulk movie, Incredible Hulk. So that's awesome, and uh, oh, but yeah, the Spider Man movie is probably after. Besides Suicide Squad, Spider Man's my most anticipated movie this year, and then, and we haven't even seen a trailer. And then I'm really excited for what else do we got? We got, um, I'm trying to think, like, well, James Bond. James Bond's coming out this year. Uh, Ghostbusters. Um, I'm looking forward to Ghostbusters. James yeah. Bond's not really my thing. Yeah. My dad loved James Bond, though. Oh, R Rami Malek, who was in the Twilight and uh, Breaking Out Part 2. We went to go see a James Bond movie on there. our first date, like, years ago. Yeah. Yeah, Rami Malek is, plays the villain in uh, the new oh, James Bond. Oh, nice. Yep, so, I like Rami Malek. Yep. Love him. So, um, yeah, and it's supposed to be the final one with Daniel Craig, too. And um, what else? Well, what other big movies are you guys excited for that haven't come out yet that are coming out? Um... And the next yeah, Halloween we've, we've movie. We've been to see Ooh, some really good movies Candy in Man. the theater this year. Oh my god, Candyman. Yeah. That's coming out this year? Yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yep, remember? Uh, oh yeah, Top Gun 2 was supposed to come out. Oh my god, what? Yeah, that was supposed to come out last year. Yeah, and then they pushed it back to this year. Um, 
Oh, so, well, oh, and uh, the Hawkeye series just announced it's coming out in November. So I'm really excited because uh, Elena's returning and we're going to see Kate Bishop played by Haley Steinfeld, who I love. Love her and True Grid and Pitch Perfect and Bumblebee, of course. So I'm excited to see her as Kate Bishop. Spider Man is definitely my number one because I love Spider Man and the movie. The rumors of Tom Holland, uh, Andrew. Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man all in the same movie. That would be like the best Spider-Man movie of all time. That's like amazing. That's like the multiverse right there in, in full effect. Um, That'd be awesome because I love Andrew Garfield's yeah. Spider-Man. I love all the Spider-Mans and all, all they're all great in their own way. So to see them all bounce back at each other. I feel like Tobey, we all love Tobey as the OG one, but Andrew is way more snarky, which I love. And, and then to, um, uh, Tom. I thought Tom you know. Holland was the OG Spider-Man, no? Yeah. I well, thought everybody liked Tom Holland. Oh, no, we're OG, like the original one. That's, oh. uh, uh, Toby is the original, so the first one. So, yeah, like, I, I love um, Tom. Like, Tom's my favorite. Also, I'm biased because I met him. But uh, I, I just love him in, in the MCU. He's, he's, like, he's consistently made me cry, both in Infinity War and Endgame with his scenes. And if you haven't seen those movies by now, uh, where have you been? But yeah, like his interactions with, with, with Tony have like really hit me hard. It's just like, yeah, he's like, like Tony is the Uncle Ben. <laughs> like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man was like the shy, nerdy guy and whatever. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, he like was totally embraced being Spider-Man. And then, like, Andrew Garfield was, like, the super confident and cocky Spider-Man that we know from the comics. Yeah. But Tom Holland is so, like, precious. Yeah. And innocent. I feel... And, like, a, mm. like a little boy wonder, like, yep. seeing the world for the first time. Definitely the youngest actor to be Spider-Man. You Spider know? And it's Still like... Still It's like, yeah. oh, he's so precious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love, I love Spider-Man. I love yeah. all of them as Spider-Man. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, Venom! There will be Carnage. That's another big one. So, yeah, to see Woody Harrelson as Carnage, that's going to be... It's still, just like I said in my, when Venom came out, it still makes me sad that we have Tom Hardy as a perfect Eddie Brock and Venom, but without connection to Spider-Man. Venom is so connected to Spider-Man, so to have Venom without Spider-Man is still weird for me. They but, probably want to do, like, an introductory because a lot of people don't read comics. Yeah. So... They want to like make them their own separate movies, yeah. so then they can probably put them together in a movie eventually. Yeah, definitely. Well, let's see. Was there any other big movies come out? Christmas. Oh, uh, West Side Story. Um, yeah, that's gonna be great. Yeah, I got little feet right here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Two's just like chilling right there. He's just like, let me know when you're ready to take me out. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think, was there any other big movies? I think those are all the, the big movies I can think of that we mentioned. Did anyone else mention anything we missed? Yeah, Venom, There Will Be Carnage, and Top Gun 2, if it still looks coming out. They moved the Batman with with Robert Battinson. <laughs> now, they had Batflick, now we have Robert Battinson. Oh, he's even more perfect than ba ben Affleck, we, where it's Batflick, it's now Then they moved that to 2022. Yeah, uh, yeah. That was supposed to come out this year, which uh, was supposed to come out like in, in the fall. They had to delay the actual production of it when Robert he, got COVID. I know, man. Freaking even Batman came I'm looking forward to that. Robert Pattinson's an incredible actor. He's very yeah. talented. We really watched the Twilight movies on Netflix. And I omit, like, I, I've said this before. I enjoy the movies. Like, I love the characters. They're not bad movies at all. I love them. Yeah. On the other hand, like, yeah. I love the books. Yeah. I love... There's a reason why they're them. beloved, the books and the movies. Anybody who on here that has followed me, I'm sure you've gotten the impression that I love vampires. Yeah, me too. I love vampires, <laughs> I love werewolves, I love romance. my favorite yeah, genre. So. You know, I dress up as a vampire a lot, and mm -hmm. I'm, I make mostly vampire infants. Yeah. It's a huge part of my life. It's part of my identity. Yeah. So, like, anything vampire, I love it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, definitely, I'm really excited to see Robert uh, Pattinson as Batman. 
and now they just announced with the Batgirl movie coming out to HBO Max, J.K. Simmons is returning, who was, um, oh yeah, that was the big movie this year, the Zack Snyder Justice League. He was Commissioner Gordon in both the Zack Snyder and Josh Whedon Justice League, and he's coming back as Gordon, so, uh, what's her name, Grace, the, from uh, Into the Heights, the one girl who's, uh, what, what's the actress name? I only know her from Into the Heights, but uh, she's Latina, and so that's really cool that uh, she's playing Barbara Gordon in Batgirl, and I'm really excited for her to to be Batgirl, and yeah, they're gonna have a Supergirl as a, a Latina Supergirl in the Flash movie that that's gonna be coming out with both Ben Affleck. I hope and, someday it's just gonna be so common for us mm -hmm. to have inclusivity to where we don't have to explain somebody's ethnicity i know to be a character i don't know does that I make know. sense we'll get there one day but yeah i'm really excited for yeah next year we got the batman we got shazam too we got black adam and flash oh and aquaman too is filming so yeah it's we got a lot of good I dc know, movies really okay well here um I've been sitting here for a while, like, really needing to pee, but I've just been trying to ignore it. Oh, okay. Well, here, let's wrap it up. We're going to say goodbye, you guys, So, because we got to get ready, take Chewie out, and we're going to eat food like, and He'll watch. talk all night unless I, I tell him to... Come I on, know. man. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you to BigBadToyStore.com. Um, latest in Hot Toys, Transformers, and more. Uh, go to Big Bad Toy Store, pre-order most things without a deposit. A Hot Toys, you do need to make the, a small deposit, but... Most things you can pre-order without a deposit. So, anyway, you guys, thank you so much. Make sure to follow us on uh, it, Fallen Angels Nursery on Header for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok. I'm also I'm, on TikTok. I'm mostly on Instagram. Yeah, I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I love Twitter, especially uh, Sean X Long on everything. Patreon is Sean X Long. Link in the description if you want to help out the channel. You got a baby list if you feel free to give anything towards the baby. But we got so many amazing things, so we just appreciate everything. So thank you guys. Uh, and stay tuned for reviewing Suicide Squad and other things. And you guys have a great night. We're going to go see Jungle Cruise. Have a great night, and we love you guys. And live long and love life. And Peace. don't forget to prosper. Yes. <laughs>